On a problem like this, there is actually a shortcut we could go through and I could say that the answer is just going to be two fifths. But let me show you how I know that's going to be two fifths. So we could always multiply by the reciprocal of this would be x plus y over 5 times x plus y over 5. Well, we know that any, any fraction multiplied by a reciprocal, we know that multiplies out to 1. Here, since we only have multiplication, we're going across multiplication, we know that x plus y will do divide out with x plus y, so we're just left with 2 fifths. Another way we could do this is you don't even need to multiply by the reciprocal. If I just multiply x plus y on both sides, we still know, if I just multiply by x plus y over 1, because that's the LCD of our numerator and of our denominator, we're still going to have that's going to divide out to 1, and that will still divide out to 1, leaving us with 2 fifths. So there's a couple ways that you can go through it. And, and again, what we've now had, we still have a fraction, but it's not going to be a complex fraction. So therefore, that's going to be our final answer, 2 fifths.